welcome to the Steadfast Schoolhouse. I'm Shauna Johnston and here today I am showing you how I use Trello to plan out my school year. Uh, a gentle feast for our curriculum and we are using the whole program except for language arts um, and I can show you how I sort and arrange all of that stuff on my daughter's board. But for now, I was going to show you how to um, do the morning time beauty loop. Um, they have two. They have two parts to this um, curriculum. They have morning time, which is more of the Bible type stuff, and then the beauty loop is all the enrichment, like your artist study, your um, poetry study, your composer study, um, all of those things. Um, so this is how I organize it. I do realize that there is um, folk song and solfa that are within the um, the actual curriculum part of a gentle feast, but I actually put it in my beauty loop just because it's easier to get those things done and not have to go back. I do a lot of YouTube links and so I project that onto my TV um, and I can do another video to do that in, an, in a later time but um, that way my kiddos can watch it from the TV and not having to look at my phone or my little iPad. Um, but let me get started showing you how I organize my weekly template and how I incorporate all this into what it looks like when I'm done. So I created a board for morning time and beauty loop and then I have another board for um, a gentle feast curriculum like the history, the natural history, the nature study, etc. And then I have another board that's just for my daughter's curriculum. I have another board that's for my son's curriculum. So each kiddo gets their own curriculum board that's specific to them. And then um, I have a weekly board. Now my weekly board is what I use to organize everything during the week and it's, it's like my daily checklist. So to get started in morning time, I have created this template. Um, I'm just going to open it and show it to you. So all the hymns are here. Um, I have them listed out in our memory verses. Um, I also created a card, which you can see right here, that um, has the links to the songs that we'll be singing. And all those links are from um, A Gentle Feast online um, resources where you can click all of those links in the weekly plans. Um, so when you scroll down, um, you can see that I linked the one that we are working on right now, which is All Creatures of Our God and King. And down here, I don't know why this is clicked, but I created a template here that has Monday it has Monday through Friday basically and what we are doing each day. Now for my family we started a devotional um, last year. Uh, we finished one and then we started a new devotional book and we really like it and some of it actually is overlapping with some of a gentle feast um, Bible reading so it's actually we enjoy it. It doesn't take much time at all. Um, we enjoy what it has to offer us, so we are going to continue that. So I added that in there. Um, so without the devotional, it should just be Bible, your memory verse, and him is supposed to be one day a week for your beauty loop. However, I do it daily. And you'll see some other changes that I've made to this curriculum, but this is us. Like you can do it however you want to do it. Um, I'm just showing you how I set it up. So I have it here in a clickable list um, for every day. Um, I also add in catechism um, for Fridays because there's not a Bible reading for, for the fifth day. Um, so we add in catechism. And here you can see that I created a link to that board, which is over here you can see. But once this template is filled out, this whole template is going to go to my weekly board and then it will have this link that will take me directly to my 
catechism board here, and it's called Big Truths for Little Kids. That's what it looks like if you're interested. Um, and we've already done some of these lessons last year, so we'll just pick up where we left off. So that's how um, that looks. And each, well, let me show you Beauty Loop, and then I will show you how I duplicate it. So when I go to Beauty Loop, um, my, so what we have done is instead of doing artist and composer study and alternating them, we'll spend um, time each week. We we pick Mondays to do our artist study, composer to um, be our Tuesday study, and we'll spend two weeks on each um, picture and song instead of you know, you had to alternate every other time. Um, that just gives us a little bit more time. It makes each day more structured. We know Monday we're looking at paintings. On Tuesdays we're listening to music. So there's not a lot of alternating. But you can, you know, like I said, you can do it however you want. Now I have combined in my beauty loop all of the um, Spanish songs, the folk songs, and the sofa just because that makes it easier for when we are doing stuff on YouTube. Everything else is mostly reading um, and that's just easy to do. We'll be done with the electronics per se and then put that away and then we can move on to our books. So um, what I have done is I decided, I did a lot of paper, pen and paper to decide where I wanted everything to fit. Um, Julie on A Gentle Feast does have um, a four and five day template for each form built out for you and I use that as my guide and I really just shuffled a few things around to make it a little bit easier for us. Um, I did move all of those folk songs and the Spanish song etc to the um, beauty loop just to make it easier. Um, so I created a board here, and I'm going to show you all of that. Um, I also have poetry recitation. She has that scheduled one day a week when you do your poet study. However, we work on that daily. That is something we do daily, along with our memory verse. Uh, we also have um, a daily nature poem book. Um, I don't remember... <laughs> exactly the name of it but it's um, like a seasons of songs or something like that but it's a nature poem for every day we just spend literally two to three minutes and we read that day's poem and move on just a little something extra um, so I've set each day up for how we are working on um, what we're working on for that day and all these little links here that you see are boards that I've created and I'm going to show you those too. You can also put in links directly into your checklist. Um, just copy the link and after you write folk song, just paste that link right in there and it should go, it should make a link that's clickable. So um, let me show you what I have done from the beginning prior to developing this template. I should have started there. So I created this book called, or this list called Morning Time Shelf. Now these are the books that we will be doing for morning time um, after Aesop's Fables. We move on to those other ones. So um, I've planned out for the first term only, which is about 12 weeks on these boards itself. So what I did was I made each list, like we have artist study, we have a poet, we have music study, we have catechism, and we also added in habits. Now these two catechism and habits are not part of a gentle feast. Those are just extras that we like to do with our children. Um, so under Aesop's, I made its own card and I labeled it. You can do it however you like. Um, and then I went through and wrote down all the fables that we'll be using for um, the 12 weeks. And um, when you make this card, it is, when you go over to the beauty loop where I put it, you can click on it and it takes you to that card. So like right here. See how it takes it to that card? Now to get that link, what you're going to do is go to the share button and um, copy this card link. And I just pasted this card link in after I wrote in 
um, Aesop's Fables under my checklist. That way it will link to it. So once I have filled in everything, so under artist study, our first artist we're doing is Da Vinci. So I went through and put in links to all the um, pictures that um, Julie Ross had in a Gentle Feeds program. And I also, um, you know, I honestly won't be using these picture links just because I have the printable packet for morning time and those pictures are beautiful and we are kind of a hands-on book kind of people. We like to look at the books um, and not really a screen. So um, I do have the biography link. We watched that little video which was actually cute and um, we'll be moving on and working through the pictures out of the morning time booklet. So do you see how I have week three and week four? Those will be um, the same picture because we are working on um, looking at the picture and spending more time with the picture or spending more time with the songs um, for each each week. Um, let's see here. So that is the artist. Then for Shakespeare, I created, you know, a little poetry list and these are the poets that we'll be studying for the year, but I only spent enough time creating um, the 12 weeks or the what the first term um, work that we need to do for that term. So I have everything listed. Um, I honestly forgot to click off week one biography yesterday. So there we go with that. And same thing for music study. I clicked all the song or I made links for all the songs here, which you can do with attachment. Um, you just paste the link here and then when you click attach it will let you like name it if you would like to. So I, you know, I typed in the name of the song that way. It's just a little bit prettier than the whole long link that would be listed. And then um, all the songs that we'll be listening to. So, and then I also have the folk songs here. I don't think I added anything in there because I just stuck a link into the beauty loop where it would link directly to that song. I have the same thing for the Big Truth for Little Kids and Obedience. That is our habit training that we are doing. So what I do is I copy this list and what it will do is make a carbon copy here and I change this to say, you can do it when you copy, but I was talking so I didn't, to say week one or whatever week you're doing. Um, and then when I go in here, see this is the template, so you don't want to edit that one. You'll edit this one. Then you can go in here and type in um, the Bible verse that you are studying or reading for that day, right? Um, the memory verse, I already have it in here, and we have our little packets um, in our living room that we go through and work out of. So I don't need to have links and stuff in here for all of that. Um, my hymns I have already printed. So I just have a link here that takes us to the song that we can listen to. So that is how I do um, for the morning time. I just basically fill in the Bible verses that we are reading for that term or the, for that week. And then in Beauty Loop, I really think everything is done because we're not, for our artists, we are still doing Da Vinci. And when I click on Da Vinci, you just have to know which week you're on. And then you click the week that you are studying and do that lesson. Um, and then, let's see, our folk song stays the same for at least a few, I want to say it's four to six weeks. Um, Poetry is the same for four weeks. Um, we're always going to keep the nature study poem or the nature poem daily. The composer study is for 12 weeks and everything on there is already listed out for you. So you don't have to change anything. You just have to know which week you're on and then you click it. Um, so it's helpful when you're building these cards to make sure you put the week one blah, 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 blah. Okay. That's how I do it here. Um, Shakespeare, Sulfa, I didn't show you this board, but all the links were provided and then you're just going to click week 
2 and then find week 2 up here. Go to the YouTube video and watch it. Simple and that's stress-free. It's easy. The planning is done and um, my husband, he is also on this board. When I'm not available to teach them because I also work full-time, then he is able to know, okay, this is the book I need because this is the picture. <laughs> uh, we had a lot of problems with that last year um, when we were starting uh, Charlotte Mason um, type of studies because there's so many books and he was just like, I don't know which book you're talking about. So it was a lot of frustration and confusion, but this just makes it easier because you can add the book pictures onto the cards. So that is the morning time and beauty loop on how I pursue that. Now after, I like to have about three, I would really ideally love to have six weeks plan at a time, but sometimes that's a little bit difficult. So um, at least three weeks ahead, I like to have um, plans done. So I would take this and I would move it to a planned board. I have one that is called planned weeks and once I click it there it'll move the whole card and that week is done. I've completed it. Okay so that's the end of this video. Um, up next I will show you how I plan out my gentle feast curriculum for the main subjects. Stay tuned. See you in the next video.